Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on a DD13 engine. To do the oil change, I'm gonna need a fuel water separator, a fuel filter kit, and an oil filter. And the tools I'm going to need are a ratchet, a 3A ratchet with a medium long extension with a 36 millimeter socket and a long extension half in ratchet with a short extension to open the drain plug in this case we have a easy drain plug so it's easier to open the to drain the oil with the 36 and the 3 year ratchet i'm going to open the oil filter once the oil filter is fully open I'm going to leave it like this so I can all the oil that is in here can be drained directly to the oil pump. In the meantime, I'm going to replace the fuel filter. I'm going to start by removing the big filter, which is the fuel water separator filter. Using the 3 air ratchet, the short extension and the 36 millimeter, I'm going to open the fuel filter from the fuel filter kit. I'm going to pull the fuel water separator. Filter. I'm going to remove the old filter from the housing by pulling it to the opposite side. Now I'm going to remove this o-ring and I'm gonna place the new one. With the new o-ring on place, I'm going to insert the new filter. I'm gonna press it until it locks. Now I'm going to apply some grease here and here to install the new filter. And now I'm going to insert the new filter here in the housing and I'm gonna tie this now I'm going to remove the screen filter I'm going to place the 36 millimeter here it's a very, lim a very limited space here so as you can see it's all the way right there so I'm gonna get it loose and get it out of there to replace the filter I'm going to pull the filter out and I'm going to replace the o-ring have the new filter in the ring here. The new screen filter is fully installed. Now it's ready for installation in the filter housing. Now I just need to install the filter. And now I'm going to tie the screen filter with the 36 millimeter socket. After replacing the screen filter, I'm going to replace the final filter, which is this one right here. Now I'm going to remove the filter by pulling it to the opposite side and I'm gonna remove the o-ring and I'm going to install the new o-ring and the new uh, final filter after replacing the final filter I'm going to use the primer pump here to fill the system with fuel with the fuel completely filled I'm going to install the final filter and I'm gonna tie it okay the fuel filters are fully replaced now I'm going to replace the fuel water separator. I'm going to use the fuel water separator tool to open the cap. Once the cap is open, I'm going to drain the fuel from this valve. And now with the same tool, I'm gonna open the bell that holds the fuel water separator housing. With the fuel water separator housing out of the way, I can remove the fuel water separator by pulling it up like this and now I can install the new fuel water separator now I'm going to replace the seals from the fuel water separator housing I have the new one here and I'm going to replace the cap seal too the fuel water separator housing has a new seal I'm going to place it back now with one hand I'm gonna hold the housing and then I'm gonna use the other hand to tie the clamp and then I'm gonna use the tool. Now I'm going to pre-fill the filter, the fuel water separator filter with fuel, with clean fuel and now I'm going to place the cap and I'm gonna tighten it. Okay the fuel water separator filter is fully replaced. Now I'm going to remove the oil filter. After a while, the oil filter is completely drained, so there is no more oil coming out. To remove the oil filter, I had to pull it to the opposite side of the housing, 
and then once the filter is removed I'm going to remove this o-ring and I'm gonna place the new one that comes in the new oil filter okay the oil filter housing has the new o-ring now I'm gonna place the new oil filter by pressing it down until it clicks like this Inside the new oil filter I just need to align it with the uh, oil filter housing and then just start the thread and now I'm going to use the 36 millimeter socket to tight the uh, oil filter housing cap okay now the oil the fuel filter and the fuel water separator are fully replaced so it's time to close the drain valve and add the new oil to the system okay the engine is filled with new oil uh, so now it's time to start the engine but before we start the engine i'm going to do some priming to the fuel uh, system so we reduce the cranking time of the engine once the engine is running check the oil pressure now i'm going to leave the engine running for around 15 minutes and then i want to turn it off and wait another 15 minutes to check the oil level so this is all i'm going to show you about the dd13 engine oil change the process will be very similar to all uh, trucks 15, uh, with dd13 engine the difference will be how easy or how, how hard will be to do the oil change on a dd13 engine in this case this is a cascadia with a short nose it's a very uh, tight space then you have to remove the filters but in other models you may have more room to work so if you have any questions about this video just comment below and i will answer them as soon as i can please like the video share subscribe and thank you for watching